Hi, I'm the Frugal Wino from FrugalWineReview.com. Today we're going to be uh, sampling some Menage a Trois wine, which a lot of people buy this just for the label. You probably can't see that from there, but uh, in our product shop below the video, you'll be able to see that and get all the links to uh, the websites and everything. This is uh, billed as a table wine. It's a um, it's a blend of three varietals. You got Zinfandel, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, should be very drinkable. It's from uh, California, St. Helena, Napa Valley. And we're going to get right to it and see how this does. Uh, it sells very well and is moving off the shelves so quickly that they're having some trouble keeping it stocked up. We're going to see if it lives up to its height. So we've had this uncorked for about oh, 30 minutes. So. Let's go ahead and give it a little, a little sniff and a little taste. Uh, of course, you know that we are eclectic, rogue tasters. We normally do not spit wine out. In this case, we will, except towards the end, and then we'll probably chuck the bottle. Let's go ahead and aerate this just a little bit. There we go. Let's have a deep sniff. See me looking at my crib notes down there? It's not a bold nose. It's kind of, uh, it's not remarkable. It's uh, subdued. Uh, but for the price point, I'm getting some dark cherry coming through. Uh, almost jammy, dark fruits, raspberry, blackberry. Just a very little hint of tannin. I thought there'd be a little bit more tannin I might smell in there which you'll also uh, probably won't taste a whole lot. Got some spice, a little bit of hint of uh, black pepper. Smell some black pepper in there. Let's have a taste. Spit yet because we're used to swallowing that. Mm. Very smooth, very drinkable, very light on the tannins. Um, kind of a medium light body. Uh, this would probably be a very approachable red, a good red for a party, uh, for someone that typically doesn't like red wine. It's fruit forward, almost jammy. Uh, very tasty, very delicious. Um, not a lot of alcohol burn in there at all, which will probably appeal to new wine drinkers. Uh, let's give it another taste here, but this time we'll swallow. That smell's starting to open up a little bit and uh, give us a little bit more. That's not bad at all. It's uh, not quite as light as I thought it was. For an $8 bottle of wine, I'll take that all day long. Um, build as a table wine. Uh, I see a very good table wine. You take this to a party, I don't think you're disappointing anyone. Mm. That's good. Okay, here's our verdict on this. Very approachable, great price point. Um, as far as the table wines we've seen build online, this is going to be one of the top. I'd be proud to bring it to a party, serve it with barbecue, pizza, hamburgers, chips, uh, even just sit around and drink and have available for your guests. I think uh, it will be a crowd pleaser. Price is about $8.99. Again, it's a uh, Zinfandel Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon blend. Uh, it's available locally. I know where I live, it's a Total Market and Total Wine. And I, I even believe public supermarkets, if they have it in stock. Um, your aficionados and connoisseurs probably won't get a big kick out of this, but, you know, who cares about them? We're looking at frugal wines here. So, nine bucks, we're going to give it a thumbs up, a do buy, and probably a lot better than some of the table wines that you can get out there. So, the Frugal Wino, frugalwinereview.com, catch us on Facebook. All the information will be below the video.
I think I'm going to open up a bag of chips and finish this. Have a great day. Hey, Frugal Wino here. I'm back again. I promised you a little story I forgot to uh, tell you during the first video, so I'll go ahead and uh, let you know about that. Mm. Like I said, this is a very drinkable wine. Very good. Anyway, we're up in Napa Valley, Napa Valley with some friends, and uh, we went into a winery, and it just happened to be uh, this Menage a Trois Folie et Du, and I probably did not get that correct. But anyway, we walked in, and I saw this uh, sitting up there on their tasting bar. And the first thing I said is, hey, I've got that on my kitchen table. Um, I bought it as a joke because of the label. And uh, basically, I instantly offended the sommelier or wine pourer, whatever you want to call her. And uh, you could tell just from the look on her face that she took offense. But in any, any event, we went ahead and got a flight of wine, and uh, this was one of our first tastings since it was a little light. And it, and it was delicious, and I told her so. And uh, if you happen to be watching, because I've noticed that I've seen you on the Open Wine Consortium, uh, I do apologize for that. And again, your wine, very delicious, and we appreciate it and everything that you did for us. Cheers.